Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this new improved recipe easy microwave bowl. It is the Taipei General Tso's uh, spicy chicken. And it is breaded chicken, white meat, and chicken white meat. Um, and vegetables and spicy sauce with fried rice. Sorry, that threw me off a little bit. It's written backwards. 420 calories for the whole thing. So it's right at the line that I try to keep at. And the sodium is usually pretty high, but it's, it's actually less than what I was expecting. So that's, it's okay. So, and I've already removed, it has a little plastic like ring around there. So I already took that off. So we didn't have to do it on the camera. So remove the damper band, which I did. Uh, microwave on high with lid on for five minutes. Let stand for two minutes until it completes clearing and carefully remove lid. Container will be extremely hot and settling will occur. So you don't have to do anything. You don't have to add anything to these. Just, just get it in there. I'm going to show you what it looks like beforehand. Okay. Well, it's quite a bit of vegetables and stuff. And the vegetables, everything's good and frozen. Lots of carrots, too. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to get this in the microwave. Uh, these were at Kroger for $2.50. Although they sell them everywhere. You know, they sell them at Walmart everywhere in these new bowls, which I like, by the way. This is the second one I've had. Um, I, the first bowl, I really liked how this is laid out. The first one, the originals are like um, square-shaped rectangular bowls or cartons with plastic wrap around them and you had to leave the plastic wrap and it was a pain in the butt. I like these a lot better. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, here it is out of the microwave. I did let it set. Um, after it cooked for five, I let it set for two. So looks like you get one, two, three, four pieces of chicken. Plenty of other stuff. And the chicken I usually cut up in half anyway. Ooh, steamy. So anyway, there it is. Boy, steam. There it is out of the microwave. Um, I'm gonna let this cool off, stir it up really good. Lots of carrots, that's for sure. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off. I've been blowing on it, but it's probably still really hot and I'll end up burning my tongue off. But here we go. Got chicken, uh, broccoli, carrots, plenty of rice, a pepper. Um, everything I saw in there, I put on here. Uh, there might be other stuff in there, I just, I can't see it. But here we go. And I'm wondering how spicy it's gonna be. Good taste, I like the flavoring. Um, I don't get a spice yet. Not like burn your mouth spice. I, I mean, I taste spices, but nothing like burn your mouth spicy. Let me try one more bite. It does have a lot of carrots in here. Luckily, the carrots are cooked well. They're not, um, I don't like a really crispy carrot. I like a, a good smushy, a somewhat soft carrot. Same with the broccoli. The broccoli is cooked really well. Um, if you don't like a squishy, I mean, if you don't like a crunchy carrot or crunchy broccoli, this is good. A little crunch, but it's not bad. Overall, the flavor is good. It's not spicy at all. I was expecting like heat spicy, like like burn my tongue spicy, but it's not. Um, this has a regular traditional Asian spice, like a like a soy sauce or something like that. Really, I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't spicy. So that being said, do I like this? I do like it. Would I eat it all the time? I would eat it again. Um, I wouldn't eat it like every week, but I would definitely eat it again. Um, I'm going to give this one a four. It's really good quality. The quality of the vegetables is excellent. The chicken, I wish they put you a few more pieces of chicken in there um, because even if I cut these four or five pieces of chicken in half, it's not going to be It's not gonna be enough to last all of it. Um, and then the, the amount of rice is good, um, like a ratio of rice to vegetables to all that stuff. It's pretty good. Um, overall, I would give it even higher. I would probably give it a four and a half if it had a little bit more of a spice when they say spice. Um, this one is say spicy, right? Yeah, spicy. Um, I to make sure I wasn't remembering incorrectly. If it had a little bit more spice to it, I'd probably get a little bit higher, but it doesn't. So if uh, you want it spicy, you're going to have to add your own spice to it. So that being said, I would give it a four. It's really good quality. We're definitely worth trying out. I like the new containers. Uh, so much easier to fix than the old ones where you had to cut the plastic off the top and it was annoying. Uh, so much easier. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.